Good evening. My name is Mark Perry. I use he and him pronouns, and I am the principal of Nova High School. Welcome to our 2020 Nova High School virtual graduation, an event celebrating the resilience, creativity, heart, humor, and compassion of all our graduating seniors. High school graduation is an important marking point, a time to look forward with both excitement and trepidation. This year is like no other as we celebrate virtually. This year's graduates have a daunting task in front of them as they enter this uncharted new normal, facing not one, but three pandemics that will shape their choices and their generation. The most recent is COVID-19, which has already resulted in nearly 110,000 deaths in the United States, the highest death count in the world. One out of every four American workers has filed for unemployment. Many high school students have had to abruptly change their immediate post high school plans in light of the ongoing inadequate and piecemeal response. Our graduates are already aware of the pandemic of climate change, its devastating impacts and how the fate of the planet will shape their future responsibilities as the keepers and protectors of a healthy environment now facing potential ecological catastrophes. The ongoing 400 year old pandemic of systemic structural anti-black racism vividly and tragically resurfaced for all to see with the recent deaths of Breonna Taylor in Louisville and George Floyd in Minneapolis. As Roxane Gay recently wrote, there is no vaccine for white supremacy. Protests that erupted throughout the U.S. in response have shown the need to act and have been characterized by Ibram Kendi as symbolic of the heartbeat of humanity. In facing these huge challenges, we cannot stay silent. And in this struggle to embrace the heartbeat of humanity, we must be guided by love, joy, healing, and a commitment to create new ways of living and working together to combat our nations and our institutions embedded in equities and stark inequalities. That joy, that love, and the hope it inspires will be evident in the stories you will hear tonight in our virtual graduation. We have many traditions associated with NOVA grad graduations, and we will try as best as possible to incorporate them in our virtual graduation. One is that every year, Stefan, our animation teacher, creates an original NOVA diploma to complement the Seattle Public Schools diploma. Let's check in and see how it looks this year. Thank you, Stefan. Another tradition is that our seniors create their own graduation ceremony and two of our graduates MC the program. It is now my pleasure to introduce this year's graduate MCs, Claire and Mirabai. Thank you, Mark. I'm Mirabai. And I'm Claire. And as Mark said, we are gonna be your MCs tonight. I know that graduating right now in this time is very difficult. It's a difficult time to be celebrating anything. But we're incredibly grateful to the members of our community who are taking this time to watch. But we'd also like to say thank you to those who can't. So I guess it's time to graduate. Please welcome to the screen Adam, environmental biology teacher and lover of fungi. All right. Welcome to Adam's Core 2020 graduation. Cass Carmel. Cassidy Wilson. Ingo Adney. Rowan Simpson. Calculus pro, student government geek, mentor, hardworking student who effectively balances a job and time with family and friends, not to mention nonstop bicycling. Despite his carefully calculated nonchalance and seemingly carefree ne'er-do-well attitude, it's been my great pleasure to come to know Rowan as a hardworking, community-minded, and deeply talented student. 
any university you attend will be lucky to have you, Rowan, though I hope you still give the occasional stink eye. Thank you for making Nova a better place, Rowan, and have fun in Canada. Thank you, Adam. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful for everyone who's helped me get here, all the teachers, especially you, Adam, and my family. Wouldn't have been possible without Nova. I'm very grateful. Thank you, Ron. Sam White. Surely, when writing about felon disenfranchisement, you'd be remiss to not research classical Greek and Roman conceptions of atimia, an ancient form of disenfranchisement. And what about countless pages of judicial rulings, ballot initiatives, and state laws? For Sam, this isn't a question, but a felt necessity. Sam yearns for justice, and justice requires understanding, and understanding requires research. Lots of it. Sam, I'm so thankful to have gotten to work with you and get to know you, and I'm so excited for Seattle Central and the world beyond to meet your passion. Best wishes to you. Thank you, Adam. Uh, I wanna thank my mom. I wanna thank you. I wanna thank Akil. Um, I just wanna thank everybody who helped me get here. I'm so grateful that I got to go to Nova and have opportunities to unlearn and learn for the sake of learning. Um, I, I wouldn't be the person I am today if I hadn't gone to Nova. Uh, I also want to say SPS needs to end its relationship with the brutal mob, the Seattle Police Department. And I really hope that Jenny Durkin steps down from her position as mayor as she has shown that she is not fit to lead this city. She does not appreciate what her constituents want. Thank you, Sam. Kitty Rowe, always bold and brave. Kitty's experiences with others have been a roller coaster ride through the peaks and depths of humanity. You're a fierce survivor, this is for sure. But what I wish for you, Kitty, is a post Nova life full of the joy you find teaching bicycling skills to young children and creating exuberant community with friends and exploring big ideas and learning. I'm so happy to celebrate you, Kitty, and I'm so excited for you to share your fierce joy with the world at large. I wish you well. Thank you, Adam. I would just like to thank all of my teachers at Nova, especially Adam helping me through all of the tough times that I've gone through and also Lance just being there and just the Nova community as a whole. That's good. Up next, we have our wonderful physics teacher, Akil, who makes everyone he meets feel so incredibly grounded. Congrats to all the Nova graduates, especially during a time when we're in a community in the virtual world. I wanted to share this quote from Ibram X. Kendi that reflects how I feel during a time of crisis. What gives me hope is a simple truism. Once we lose hope, we're guaranteed to lose. But if we ignore the odds and fight to create an anti-racist world, then we give humanity a chance to one day survive, a chance to live in communion, and a chance to be forever free. And you all, as youth that I've worked with, inspire me, create a more socially just world, and I am Deeply humbled. Graham Crawford. Julia recently messaged me that you're crushing your cycling efforts. And that's definitely the word. Sometimes when I bike to school on that hill of 31st, I see you sneak up behind me on your bike. You say hi, talk for a bit while I'm like totally out of breath. And then you just go straight past me. And your mental focus, your discipline, it's inspiring. You're quiet and strong force. You've opened my eyes to more nuance and how I think about the military too. You've written award-winning plays through ACT Theater about soldiers from different sides building connection. Congrats, Graham. You'll be joining the Marine Corps, the US Marine Corps and shipping off to basic training in July. I'd just like to say how glad I am to have gone to Nova. It's a really special place that I learned to really appreciate. Thank you all Nova staff and you know, especially the teachers. Thank you so much. Ariel Esteban, I feel like I've known you for years, even though you've only officially been in my core for one year. And I know that if I ever need my Furby repurposed into a Franken puppet, I can come to you. More seriously, you're already an amazing teacher and that I was in my own child to. And the day that I brought Ishan to school, you connected with him in a couple hours. You build robots with kids at Kimball Elementary. Your math projects are written through using brilliant analogies to teach kids about transformations. I'm excited to see your teaching in the future. Ariel will be going on to Seattle Central College pursuing a degree in education in the Rising Educators program. Congrats, Ariel. 
Thank you so much for the kind words, Akil. I quickly wanted to say thank you to all the wonderful people I've met here at NOVA and my close friends and family outside of it. All of you have made my first year in Seattle and last year in high school so wonderful and welcoming. I'll be forever grateful for the brief time I got to spend with this community, and I hope everyone is doing well and staying informed during this time. Thank you all so much again. Grant Robbins, the first time I met you, I think you were in the middle of a CrossFit session or maybe swimming while simultaneously jumping, probably doing physics experiments, maybe writing too. I imagine you as that person that is interested in a million things that could probably do anything. But actually, I remember you as one of the kindest and compassionate people that I know. I'm not sure if you remember, but you actually taught me how to kick properly as, as I was getting back into swimming and feeling kind of nervous. You're open, vulnerable, and have shared with me stories of emotional growth that I myself learned from. Grant will be joining the South Seattle College and possibly pursuing graphic design. Congrats, Grant. Thank you, Akil. Um, I wanted to take this time to thank the people who helped me reach this point in my life. Akil and Adam for always being there to accommodate me. My sister for always being my best friend. My parents for making the move from Montana to Seattle after months of pleading. Fernando for helping me make the final push to graduate. And most importantly to Nova and its teachers for allowing me to find my true self. Thank you. Congratulations. Next up, Allison, an LA and IEP teacher. She's the walking definition of the word kind. First up, we have. Ava Kreinheader. Ava forged her own path through three different high schools, excelling in math and art and seeking a place to help her grow. In her time at Nova, she shared her advocacy for women in STEM, her seemingly limitless artistic talent, and her kind spirit. Ava's the kind of friend you want in your corner. She's the kind of friend that will drive to your house and pick you up to ensure that you make it to school even if she doesn't have a class of her own. Next year, she'll bring her many talents to Fairhaven College at Western. Congratulations, Ava. And Ava has chosen not to speak, so next up, we have Freya Rieger. Freya is a listener, a thinker, a critic, an advocate for people and the planet, and a wildly talented musician. She has had a true journey through high school. Freya probably wore her hood up every day for two years after she transferred to Nova. She came to our community hesitant to connect, but she's leaving by marching for justice in rainbow lace boots. She plans to study history and linguistics at Western Washington University, and I couldn't be prouder of her. Congratulations, Freya. Lovely. Um, I don't have much to say. I would just like to thank all of the staff and students at NOVA, uh, especially Allison, Brian, and Christina, because uh, without them and everyone else, I would not know where or who I'd be today. Thank you so much, Fran and Ava. Congratulations. And now a musical performance from my co-host and good friend, Mirabai. Hey friends. Uh, just two days ago, I wrote what might be the cheesiest song ever written. It's called Supernova and it's about how super I think Nova is. That was also very cheesy, but I love you all so much. I hope you like this song. When a star dies, where does the light go? Does it shine more bright, or does it become Is it 
Recycled, remolded, and bright Nothing's eternal, but nothing's destroyed We shine like stars in the night With more colors than the rainbow Brighter than the sun Something beautiful is ending Something new has begun I don't want the star to fall I don't want this star to end I wanted time to stand still So I could stargaze with my friends But if this star supernovas There'll be energy light so much potential burning through the night with more colors than the rainbow brighter than the sun something beautiful is ending something new has begun Cause if this star supernova There'll be more colors than the rainbow Brighter than the sun Something beautiful is ending Something new has begun I love you, Nova. That was beautiful! Now for Becky, one of our lovely IEP teachers. Her room and her presence make everyone feel at home. Hi, I'm Chelsea from Becky's Core, and our first graduate is Brian McAfee. Nobody misses it when Brian enters a room or a team's meeting. Brian excels at making his presence known and challenging the folks around him to keep up with the constant flow of ideas that swirl around his brain. The thing is that if you take the time to get to know him, you will uncover a generous heart and sensitive soul that are doing their best to respond to the unpredictability that the world has gifted him. Brian has a love for music and dance that could be seen as he would beg for the keys to the dance room or as he made his way down the hallway that sometimes resulted in him attending class. Brian is looking for a job and looking forward to getting his own apartment and super happy to be graduating today. Congratulations, Brian. Thank you. Um, so basically, I want to thank Becky and, um, and my auntie Chelsea for, like, for not giving up on me. Like, cause, and like, when it got hard, like, I like, went in and I like, could drop out. But, like, but and, like, they wouldn't let me. And like, I'm like glad, and like they kept pushing me. And like, cause now, look at me, and like now, you know, and I made it. And like, I can say that I'm proud of myself. Like, like it was hard, and like it really was. But now, I get to say goodbye and like everyone who, who's actually leaving with me. Like we got this, like 2020, like will always be our year, like no matter what. Like thank you mom, and my dad, and like for everything. Now say it with me, 1K, Prince Baby, let's get it, like power. Congratulations, Brian. Imani. Imani chose Nova for high school a couple times. Uh, her independence has fueled her educational experience and helped to fulfill her desire to be around people who truly value individual expression. Imani is fashionable, so fashionable, in fact, that if you're ever curious about the latest hairstyles or proper contour application, all you'd have to do is wait for her to dance her way into a room. For the last few couple months, Imani has spent a lot of time in her backyard under blue skies, working through the last few competencies that she needs for graduation. I'm super proud of your commitment to push through, Imani. Next year, Imani will use her Seattle Promise School Scholarship to attend Seattle Central. Congratulations, Imani. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, hello, hello, hello. Um, I just want to say something real short, real quick, you know what I'm saying? 
keep seat sweet and sour because that's how high school did me. Um, high school has brought me my most trifling, tough, fun, dangerous, and nourishing moments. For that, I am forever grateful. I'm more grateful for the souls that have helped me pull, have helped pull and push me through this journey. I was a challenging student to say the least. <laughs> I owe Becky a special thanks for the tough love she gives me in times of need, as well as my mama and my brazy bunch. Thank you. Soraya, when Soraya chooses to share her voice and her heart, it can be felt by everybody in the room. I believe that Soraya is someone who carries <laughs> their heart and their story in their body. On May 31st, Soraya participated in the Youth Speak Seattle Grand Slam 2020 and qualified to be a part of the team that will go to Washington, D.C. to participate in the Brave New Voices 2021. Soraya has challenged ideas of education as she forged her way through high school and on her own terms. Soraya plans to attend Seattle Central in the fall with her Seattle Promise Scholarship. Congratulations, Soraya. Thank you. Being away from Nova has made me realize how much I truly miss it and how much I have to take it for granted. I'd like to thank all my teachers and both of my coordinators and my family, chosen and not, for making Nova feel like home, especially after a previously traumatic life altering experience. Nova has opened so many doors that I never thought were possible. Nova has helped me find my voice. And as much as I have ranted about how much I hate this school and how racially undiverse it is, I have to give credit where credit is due. And I and say I wouldn't have it any other way. Congratulations, you guys. Congratulations. Next, we have Lance, the funniest, most genuine math teacher you will ever meet. Graduation. It's not going to be the same, but Nadia, you did make it, and the crowds are out there cheering for you. Nadia, you've done an amazing job. We teamed up, and we worked hard. It was difficult, and you had some troubles, but you hunkered down, you got to work, and you made this day possible. Congratulations, Nadia, class of 2020. Up next, with a poetic performance that'll knock your socks right off, we have my friend Soraya. My name's Soraya, and I'll be reading a poem to reflect the times that we're going through um, right now. So, without further ado, did you know you can open your Instagram and see a black man's lynching? Watch as history repeats itself again. Call it the modern day lynching, some of the comments will demand justice. The cop, excuse me, the murderer will not be charged here. Few will say he was asking for it, for being black in the wrong place at the wrong time. By that, I mean anywhere, even when he had his hands up, call it a misunderstanding, even when he was pleading for his life. Please, officer, I can't breathe and we'll double tap. Pretend the heart that pulses on the screen will bring his heartbeat back. Maybe you'll get a hashtag or a repost if he's lucky. And we'll call this awareness and continue our lives like his didn't end at the end of a pig shotgun watch. All the white people have epiphanies in the comment like this shit hasn't been happening for years. Like they need a video to prove that this shit still happens. Watch the white people who only seem to care when a black person is dead. Meanwhile, Somewhere there is a mother mourning, having to watch her son die over and over, whose life was made a crime for having a breath, skin dark. Meanwhile, there is a man who wears his badge number like a name that gets to go home to his kids knowing that he took someone else's somewhere. There is a man that never has to worry about losing his kids for existing, losing his life for existing, living should not have to be a protest. The funeral should not have to be a protest. Sometimes I worry that my brothers will be the next headline, the next hashtag, that the last time I saw them will be the last time. It's scary not knowing if their next cop encounter they will come out alive. How do I tell my future sons to be prepared to die on a jog? How do I prepare myself, myself knowing that my sons could die on a jog? How do I tell my sons that there are people out there that want to break him? 
no sudden movements. Keep your hands in plain sight. Announce every movement you make. Be prepared to catch this bullet anyway, boy. What can I tell him that will save him? Is there anything I can tell him that will save him when their eyes have already labeled him a threat? Made his skin a target? Got his skin soil to plant a bullet and say they want to know how a black boy bleeds, but he bleeds like the next white person who does the same thing as the black boy and doesn't get shot for wearing white skin. He bleeds the same as the white boy who shoots up a school and gets a meal from Burger King and the black boy who's only holding a toy gun knows death at 12 years old and still they call themselves justice and if a black boy's body falls and the whole world is there to see it is that all he becomes but if a black boy's body falls and no one is there to witness what does he become did you know that Ahmed Arbery was murdered on February 23rd and it wasn't until the videos of his death were posted in May that his killers were charged so what if all I can tell him is to make sure someone is recording. Thank you. And now for Melissa, Mira Vice Coordinator, who teaches poetry, history, and ethnic studies. She's a local legend with an affinity for cats. Annalise Graves. Annalise was at Nova for only a short while, but long enough to be seen and heard as a kind and hardworking student and gifted writer. Next year, she finds herself at Seattle Central or joining Job Corps in pursuit of a career in nursing or as a high school history teacher, which isn't bad work. She's completed nearly 200 hours of community service as a youth camp counselor and doing local environmental restoration. Annalise, we see you, striving, buoyant, and centered. We know you're going to continue to help people and do great things in life. Congratulations. Victoria Hill, what to do when you have so many passions and a zeal for learning? Ask Victoria, who studies a few things, poetry, theology, history, science, math, visual arts, painting, and photography. No doubt she'll keep forging her path to a future poised with her unique blend of philosophy, writing, and filmmaking. Quoting her senior project, I'm right here, right now, with life sprawling ahead. This is a lifelong investigation. I am building a house with endless repairs and remodels and additions. Vic Nico Lee. Described by teachers as a very strong writer, Vic pens vivid characters and dialogue with poise and meta awesomeness in their short fiction, plays, and novels. Hailing from two years of school in Shanghai, China, Vic landed at Nova and continued to flex their artistic powers playing the lead role of Prospero in last year's production of The Tempest. Next year, this wonderful creator and explorer will continue their studies at a Western Washington college. Congratulations, Vic. Regine Diaz. Regine shows up time and again for family, peers, and community. A Youth Speaks leader and Naked Truth alum, this shy poet with a fierce heart has nurtured a growing critical consciousness of historical forces and structures that marginalize and abandon so many in the world. Daughter, sister, auntie, friend, music lover, bubble tea connoisseur, polyglot, and finally, teacher. Her overarching lesson to me is, know your roots to know yourself. Do it artfully, with great love, in pursuit of living your and your ancestors' dreams. Mirabai Kukathis. Mirabai, mayor of Nova by day, rock star by night, will disarm you with her stories, her extroverted warmth, wit, and gab, and you'll become an instant fan or friend or both. This dark-eyed, never-quiet canary and totem star star who sings about rainbow connections and dreamers from spotlit stages is this year's recipient of the Robert Block Award for music. Lucky us, her first album is still forthcoming before she flies off to a light at Sarah Lawrence College after a gap year. Congratulations. <sighs> I've been to a lot of schools and they've all talked a big game about acceptance. 
but Nova is the first school where I've actually been allowed to be myself and where the person that I am has been celebrated. This community has helped me through my artistic achievements and my many health issues the same way a family would. Melissa, you've been the most understanding and compassionate coordinator I ever could have asked for. Terrence taught me to believe that I'm smart. Lance, Adam, and Akil are like the nicest people to have ever existed. Christina taught me math. Brian taught me I'm allowed to be angry. Playwriting Brian taught me a whole new way of telling stories that I'm actually really good at it. I've had the most amazing friends. I've had another family at Totem Star. And I've had my amazing family, my wonderful brother, my amazing dad, and my mom, who I owe literally every achievement. And I love you all so, so much. Thanks, Mirabai. Next, we have our biology and health teacher, caretaker of Nova's plants and students alike, Susan. We are starting with Ethan Lingenfelter. Uh, when Ethan first joined my core, I thought we were going to have great discussions about music because he's a musician and a sound engineer. But Ethan likes metal, death metal, so we mostly talk about school. Regardless, Ethan has been a great contributor to the local music scene here at Nova, helping to run shows, holding things down in the band room, and volunteering at the Vera Project in the Seattle Center. Well, cutting it to the wire this semester, Ethan has figured out how to get things done. Invariably one of life's most important skills. He plans to start LA Film School this fall, where all his talents will be showcased. I'm sure he'll take the LA music scene by storm. I'd like to thank all my coordinators at NOVA. Um, I've had three at NOVA and all of them have been great. Um, Mish and Susan have helped me a bunch. i just like to thank all the teachers at NOVA and all my friends at NOVA for helping me through. Mossy inspires creativity. Whether working with kids at summer camp or the NOVA community, you can just feel it. They are a writer, artist, and storyteller with the ever-present blue and pink, a color combination that is now branded at Nova just for Mossy. Jumping in with both feet, Mossy is a leader. They have been a driving force in Japanese, learning, practicing, planning projects, and teaching other students. Mossy was supposed to head to Japan for three months in the fall. That trip will now happen next year instead. So Mossy will take a gap year, and whatever they do in the future, it will surely tap their creative spirit. Mossy? Oh. Uh out of all my three coordinators, Susan has been not only the most attentive and supportive, but also the one who's lasted the longest. And I appreciate that more than anything. Uh, every single time I feel like I want to just get my GED and get high school over with, Susan convinces me that I actually can do work and not just do things correctly my way. So I'm happy for that. Thank you, Susan. You're welcome, Mossy. Okay, and Jack Morgan. Being outside is what makes Jack happy. Whether paddleboarding or diving, his stories of creatures he's encountered in the Puget Sound are incredible, including that one about wrestling a giant octopus, which I'm sure is mostly true, although in my mind the octopus is way bigger than Jack is. High school has not been an easy time for him, but through it all, Jack has persevered. He does not give up. What I wish for Jack is that he continues learning that he does not always have to be strong, that asking for and taking the help you need is a good thing. I know in the end he will never stop wanting to take care of others. Jack is on his way to becoming an EMT and he will continue following the path of helping people throughout his life. Jack, I know your dad was and always will be proud of you, as are the rest of us. Congratulations. And next up, Julia, an IP and PE teacher. Her athleticism is only matched by her high spirits. Welcome to your graduation, Maddie. Thanks. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. Thank you so much. I have to say the one thing that I've been thinking about is that your trust is not easily earned. And it is one of the biggest compliments ever that you trusted me to be your coordinator in these last, gosh, few years yeah. in IDP Place Manager. I'm going to miss you terribly. Yeah, I'll miss you too. Well, congratulations, and to quote Katie Heron, the limit for you does not exist. <laughs> Welcome to the graduation of Peter Skyler. Peter, I've known you for the all four years you've been here, and you have grown more than any other student I've ever had. And not having you in this building is going to leave a huge hole, and I'm not going to cry right now. Instead, I'm going to think of 
about the best, the most lit song ever, according to Peter Scarlett, which will forever be the DuckTales theme song. It's jokes like that that we'll miss and you. Peter's going to be going on to uh, Bellevue Community College, yeah. the Navigator program. Do you want to say anything, Peter? Uh, the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Yeah! Congratulations, Peter! Now we're going to take a few moments to celebrate the members of our community who are retiring. When eating fruit, remember the one who planted the tree, a Vietnamese proverb. Even as the world is on fire and the heaviness of each day overwhelms and wounds, it's necessary to remember each day is also a site of opportunities to recognize the gifts we have, large and small, collective and personal. It is a gift to be in shared struggle and stewards of our interconnectedness. I'm deeply honored to be here with you, dear friends, mentors, and colleagues, to celebrate three brilliant educators, our staff retirees, and their graduation from high school. Carmita, Lydia, Mark, please accept these words as a tiny gesture of thanks for the fruit you've labored for, the proverbial trees you've planted in service of generations of students needing love, guidance, acceptance, healing, challenge, inspiration, and they're finding all of those things in you and ultimately themselves. Thank you for being the forgers and gardeners of dynamic and deep foundations, cutting and carving footholds for the rest of us to continue building upon. Thank you for being living examples of what decades dedicated to serving youth can look and feel like with your humor, humility, and vibrant infectious passion intact. Thank you for being in so very many ways, teachers, protectors, guardians, warriors, and fine wines. For showing that education is not a guaranteed liberatory practice as is, but only because you, we, make it so. Thank you for sharing the sweat and sorrows and beauty and joy that come with the privilege of being at NOVA, working with and knowing you. This speech is for Carmita. Carmita always thinks before she speaks. In that way, and in so many others, she has been a model for the NOVA community. She listens, she picks powerful moments to share, and she uses her wisdom and experience to push student thinking. She's pushed my thinking too. Watching her patiently, unfailingly hold students to high expectations and witnessing the way she can connect to a new student who came in with his guard up and challenged that student to be his best self. These actions have made me reflect on the power of holding everyone in our community to high standards. We are all so lucky to have shared NOVA with you, Carmita, and we'll miss you so much. Carmita consistently demonstrates her belief in the power and potential of youth. Through seeking and encouraging the strengths of her students, she ensures that they grow toward their truest self. In doing this, Carmita has built up confidence and excitement for learning in each of her students. Beyond supporting students, she has also been a supportive voice in encouraging fellow teachers like myself to challenge and improve the educational system. I will forever be touched by your love and dedication toward NOVA students and staff. You will be missed. The speech is for Lydia. Reading the moving tributes shared by Lydia's former students has been an uncanny experience. These students have shared their gratitude for her immersive teaching practices, the singing and game playing, conversations and dancing. Students celebrate Lydia's joyful love, not just of language, but of learning itself. And that's when my uncanny feeling resolved itself. I support Lydia's students too. Lydia, I am forever grateful to you as a colleague, but thank you as well for being my teacher. I, all of us, will miss you dearly, but please know that you have taught us well. Your enthusiasm will carry on here at NOVA, while I hope you enjoy a loving and learning-filled retirement. Vielen Dank, Lydia, and bon voyage. And Lydia, I have a speech for you too. I remember with warmth years of being your neighbor, 
I share a wall with you. And through that wall and anybody walking down the hallway, they're going to hear conversation and languages being spoken, 11 languages. We're hearing kids, each student puzzling out at their own speed. And sometimes I hear the sound of shuffling, like people are fighting for their lives in your room, only to find out that it's a lesson based on musical chairs. You are humble and you're a respected and published linguist and you will no doubt have a full date book in your after Noven life. I would like to help graduate Dr. Mark Perry, our principal. Once I told Mark, I wonder what my life would have been like had he been my dad. Not some sort of Luke and Vader thing, but something more akin to the experiences he created for his students. Mark is the teacher and guiding principal of a liberatory education guided by this mantra. What is valuable for a student to experience and learn? Mark never decides what this is for a student, but helps them find their answers. He is a jazz Jedi, a true Coltrane of education, always improving his craft. He has skyhooked like Kareem for over two decades to defend Nova and its students to a culture not ready for anti-racism or democratic student voice. He is the second father, friend, and teacher we have all had the great fortune to know. Thank you for believing in Nova, in me, in us. You're dearly loved. I also have a speech for Dr. Mark Perry. Dear Butch, somehow the credits are rolling and we didn't go down in that blaze of glory. Beaten up a bit from serious skirmishes, we are worse for the wear, but instead of noble sacrifice, we are standing while the world is on fire. Not the contingency we planned for, but you are leaving us with skills. You taught us how to say no, even when no wasn't an option given. How to ask the right questions, how to use disruption as resistance. You ignited a passion to fight for what is meaningful and worth knowing, and to use our jobs and our bodies to shield children from the barrels of oppression aimed squarely at their resilient faces. And at some point we learned to find balance, because bodies and health and family are also precious and necessary to keep fighting. But I also know you, and I know that you're more than a cowboy. I watched you early on cradle a student's writing in your hands like it was as precious and fragile as a baby, teaching me that creation is sacred. I know the way your face twitches when you deny tears that might forgive them stealing our building, our teachers, our dignity. I know how you wear rage with injustice as often as you put on your district drag. And I know you can don grace to address hundreds of people gathered for a graduation days after the Pulse nightclub shooting and today and in every other tragedy you have led this community through. I also know that I would have never stayed at NOVA if we hadn't evolved many times, both the school and us as people. I'm not sure if we're just wild horses or boats who hate anchors, but for some reason we both stopped running from one blaze of glory to the next. And in this strange and beautiful community, we stayed long enough to learn to fight in a different way by working to build something better, a space for liberation, for healing. The fight is real, necessary, and ongoing, but the creation of something better is sacred. Love, Sundance. Amma, Appa, Asirir Kal, Karvel. From Tamil, in order of importance, mother, father, teachers, and God. My interpretation is that it shows the connection of teachers in our community and to nature, that we are interbeing and intergenerational. Thank you, Carmita, Lydia, and Mark, for your gifts of wisdom, insight, and heart as the elders of our community. Are we ready for this? When I say Mark, you say Perry. Mark, Perry. Mark, Perry. When I say Lydia, you say that. Lydia. Uh. Lydia. Uh. <laughs> when I say car, you say meter. Car. Meter. Car. Meter. That's it, guys. Next, we have Ava, our assistant principal, chemistry teacher, and the parent to Nova's unofficial mascot, Mo. I will be presenting for graduates. 
Anya Sullivan. Anya is a timeless woman with a refreshing ability to balance a masterfully critical mind with the grace and patience to choose her words carefully. She always finds ways to express hard truths that keep others listening. With a college-ready intellect and a well-traveled hero's journey, Anya jumped into action faction, gender tea, community activism, and co-top bombs, not bombs. While smashing the patriarchy, fascism, and the gender binary, she stitched her own sense of self back together. Whether it's world travel, culinary school, or an artisanal sauerkraut business, Anya will continue to fill her foodie heart and DIY attitude with experiences that feed her passions, grow her communities, and share her gentle soul. Thank you, Anya. Olivia Clayton. Olivia, like water, carved her own path through the rough terrain of adolescence. A gentle but unstoppable warrior, she has fought death and won multiple times between birth and graduation. Through internships, college classes, travel, and jobs, she has learned business, languages, and adulting skills, balancing extreme health challenges without losing hope or gratitude for her opportunities. A uniquely wise person, she stands beautiful and strong like a canyon, most marveling at the breathtaking result without dwelling on the painfully slow carving of tenacious water. I am blessed to witness both Olivia, the majestic graduate, and some of her painful but tenacious journey. Thank you, Olivia. Next, I have Felix Danger Zap, a name that sums up the person I think Felix wants you to believe he is. Hilarious and edgy, he has charmed many into his chosen family. Completing Fair Start's culinary program, he worked full-time while completing high school. He destroyed low expectations and worked to heal trauma that haunted a history of educational injustice. He and his cat ninja are riding out the quarantine in a hammock, ready for Seattle Promise in the fall. A survivor, as savvy as he can be shady, Felix has a fiercely loyal soul, a fast and clever mind, and a tender poet's heart, all barely hidden behind his baggy jeans, dirty hoodie, half-broken longboard persona. Felix? I'm just so amazed that I ever got this far. So many people told me I wouldn't make it to this point, teachers, strangers, even friends and family, but here I am, and if Nova hadn't given me a chance, I probably wouldn't be here. And I probably have Eva to thank for that. And I really don't know where I'm gonna go from here, but Nova prepared me more than any school ever did. And I want to thank my dad for helping me get to the point where I am, even though he thinks he probably didn't help much. <laughs> I wanna thank Karen, the club director in Vancouver, she helped me get in Seattle. I, I owe her my life for that. And I want to thank my Seattle adoptive family for just giving me everything that I needed to, to keep going and stay strong. Because there are so many times where I almost gave up. And Nova and my family and Ava and everyone helped keep me pushing. So. Thanks. Thank you, Felix. Uh, Libby Gitz. Libby always goes big. Giant heart, enormous work ethic, epic commitment to her communities. It isn't surprising that she got into lots of top colleges with hefty merit-based support. What is truly exceptional about Libby is that she always asks herself, how can I do more? Listen more deeply, how is my privilege showing up? When faced with a polarizing nation, Libby leaned into creating spaces for understanding building debate committee, founding consent day, being a cherished elder in gender tea, supporting peers through teen link, and voraciously self-educating. She is a gift to Loyola's on a program. A salve for broken hearts, she is practiced, equipped, and ready to stand up in a world of violence and injustice and lead with a truly open heart. Oh boy. <laughs> Firstly, I wanna say thank you so much to my friends and family. Without you guys, I would be nowhere. But I also want to say a big thank you to Nova. I always felt like I was waiting to get to college. If I could just suck it up for the next few years, I would be able to have a good time and flourish then. But Nova let me flourish now. I've met the most extraordinary people here that have left a lifelong imprint on me. Words cannot express the love, respect, and gratitude I have for you all. So. Thank you. It's been an honor to grow up beside you guys. 
and I'm so proud of us. Thank you, Libby. Up next, we have Mish, an LA and IEP teacher and the owner of the beloved Taurus, Shelley. Mitchell Armstrong. Mitchell and I arrived mid-year during the same week, and this amazing school has welcomed the new Nova Buddies, as Mitchell calls us, with open arms since then. Mitchell has truly flourished here, graduating today a strong young man, employed and with plans for more education next year. He has accomplished so much, and I'm proud to have arrived in such wonderful company. Thank you for the amazing memories and for your tremendous hard work. Best of luck in your future, Mitchell. I know you can do anything you set your heart and mind to. After I transferred to Nova, I came to a very important conclusion. And that is, a man who never made a mistake never really made anything. I'd like to say thank you to Mish, Mark, and Carmita for putting up with my nonsense over the years. Thanks, Mitchell. Maximilian Wilmot. I truly believe Max was preparing for this day when we made his first schedule. And while it may not be what we expected, it was actually no less the very amazing outcome he set out to complete day one. Max, you put so much into your learning, and you've also grown so much along the way. Today, you graduate and head off to aviation school, having served your community through the Explorers for all four years, and Nova as a learner and leader in your classes and core. Congratulations, Max. Good luck, keep planning, dreaming, and growing. Thanks, Mish. I want to thank Mish for helping me grow through my four years of high school um, from learning, being a freshman and saying, hey, you can't have six classes because it's too much for you to um, allowing me to grow. Um, I want to thank Terrence for his amazing um, some films class and the way he dissected those and made you kind of understand yourself in a different way. Um, I want to thank Akil for his math class and allowing me to actually understand math in a way that I never really did before. Um, I want to thank all the Nova students and teachers as a whole for kind of welcoming me into their family. And I felt as a whole, we were all big one group. So thank you. Thanks, Max. Now we have Terrence, also affectionately known as Batman, LA and philosophy teacher, whose words have changed the lives of many. First up, Julian Heater. Julian is a musician first and foremost. Notes, rhythms, beats, sound, tone, harmony. These are the blood cells that make up his body. He breathes and dreams in syncopation to the pulse of the spiritus mundi. When he is not doing that, he is giving hundreds and thousands of hours to bike works and getting bikes to those who don't have them. He also excels in the Greek language, science, and philosophy. After being accepted to hundreds of colleges, Julian decided to attend Western Washington University in the fall in order to start this new song of his life, Julian. Awesome. I just want to say um, thank you to everybody in the Nova community. Um, I was going to do names originally, but I realized in writing my stuff out that I wouldn't have enough time to thank everybody who's made an impact in my life at NOVA. Um, so I'm just super grateful for everybody at NOVA and the education that has been provided me there. Uh, one of the best schools, I think, in the country with the focus that we have on social justice. And thank you to all the students who made going there fun as well. Awesome. Thank you, Julian. Okay, next up is Elisha Palmer. Elisha has grown so much since I first met him. This once very shy ninth grader is now a person with wonderful friends, a keen sense of humor, and a human who deeply and sincerely explores the nature of his identity. He has always been extremely disciplined, academically minded, and earned full credit in every class he took. As well, he is a steady volunteer at a homeless shelter here in Seattle. Elisha plans to attend North Seattle Community College in the fall. Now, with all of this done, Elisha, I hope you can get a little bit of sleep. Elisha. I wanted to say thank you to everyone who works at or attends NOVA, and I hope you all have an excellent um, time this coming summer and school year. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, Nathan Polanski. 
If I were choosing a team for anything, I would choose Nathan first. Need to get a health center up and going? Happen to want a facilitator for an intergenerational info slash support class on Saturdays? Student to help in almost every important aspect of a school? Looking for a student who does the highest quality work for everything he does while overcoming extreme physical pain? Want to have the best smile in the world greet you first thing in the morning? Finally, how about a student who attends South Seattle in the fall? I call for Team Nathan. Nathan. I just want to say thank you for Nova for being such an accepting and supportive and just being a community that I can actually find my like stepping and being able to actually express myself and be who I am. And I'm really thankful for that. Awesome. Thank you, Nathan. Finally, last but not least, Vega Lund. This purple belted karate fashionista has punched and kicked her way to a three year graduation. During her Nova adventure, she conquered every music note at KEXP, wrote all the words to all the new stories to be read, created art and animation that has restructured life at the cellular level, taught both an army of children martial arts and the Japanese language to the Nova masses, and earned all the credit ever offered. Her 20th level art skills merited her a Robert C. Block Award in Excellence in Visual Arts. Now, there is only the rest of the world to lovingly embrace you. Vega Lund. Thank you, sir. That really means a lot. I also definitely want to thank you, Terrence, for just being an awesome coordinator, and you've supported me so much during my time at NOVA. Um, thank you. Um, I also want to thank my parents for being awesome and my friends, a lot of whom I've met at NOVA. And there's so many teachers who have just really uh, supported me so much. And uh, I, I wish I had more time to name everyone, but thank you. Thank you to everyone and NOVA. And I'm really proud of myself. Um, I made it through high school and uh, I feel awesome. and. Ah, thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Up next, we have Debbie, Claire's coordinator. Debbie is a cheerful LA teacher with a passion for knitting and who just makes everyone around her feel so calm. Claire. I was about to say bubble tea, and then Ella used the word bubble to describe you. Claire and Nova amazing projects, engaging in deep discussions, being a leader in core, a protester on the streets, and a great friend. And now from Stefan, who encapsulates words from all of your teachers. The messages in your work come from a very deep well of emotion and narrative structure. Your interest in all things help lift the mood of the class, a sublime film. You have so much interest and curiosity and can talk about classic art and express your appreciation from an informed and fresh standpoint. Claire. I'm, thank you, Debbie, and uh, thank you, Nova. Thanks for helping me become the person I currently am. Ava. <laughs> Ava has Russian and German heritage, and she learned and then taught Russian at Nova, did a program in Russia, and now she's learning proto-German and sewing a dirndl. I bet her heritage includes fighting the patriarchy, too. I know her heritage doesn't include Native American, but she spent fall semester learning lots about Native Northwest Indians. She was a big part of making Walk the Walk happen as a social justice NOVA committee, and Ava has thrown many a pot at NOVA. She'll be attending Evergreen next, but don't be surprised if you see her out in the world studying, exploring, and effectuating change. Ava. Thank you, Debbie. Um, although I know my success at NOVA is due to my own perseverance and growth, I would also like to express, express my sincerest gratitude for the people that helped me the most. Debbie, Lance, Adam, and Lydia have touched my life more deeply than they could ever know. Debbie has been one of my biggest supporters, and she's one of the people I look up to most in my life. Her guidance has been instrumental in my growth as a person and will continue to be throughout my life. And of course, none of what I have or will accomplish could ever be possible without the unconditional love and support of my parents. Sky.
Sky and Company love art, music, clothing, and fighting for climate justice. I can easily see a double major in climate justice and art at Fairhaven next year. Sky has written so many songs during their time at Nova, so poetry class as well as many other Melissa spaces were home. Sky was featured in a fashion show with their clothing just recently, and so many Fridays of the past two years found Sky with others in front of City Hall protesting in sync with Greta Thunberg's school strike. Sky and Company, you are loved. If ever you doubt it, look at your diploma. I printed it there. Thank you. I want to thank my family and all the staff at NOVA that support us and challenge us to do our best. Melissa and Debbie and Terrence and Adam and all of you and my friends, Grace and Maddie and Sibby and uh, G and all of you. Thank you for being there for me and all our fun times together. I hope we keep in touch. My experience at NOVA was more than I ever expected it to be. Ella. Now that your cat has graduated, let's celebrate you and your snails and the stick bugs and the ladybugs and more. Ella feeds the bugs in our garden by taking out the compost through Planet Nova. Ella is so grounded and ethereal all at once, perfect for the role of midwife doing the work of Earth and miracles. Internship at Tara's Tots, scholarship recognizing your greatness. Tell me when you polish the story of the two grandpas, full of art and story. When elephants dance, the small chickens must be careful but not the bugs who can dance with Ella. Sibby. Sibby writes 21st century stories. Your readers adventure and have voice as they travel with you through one small piece of your universe. The parts of your universe that I have seen are full of compassion and understanding, leadership, art, and intellectualism, as well as pain and confusion. When you speak with your beautiful voice, we all know things are better when you are in charge. My wish for you as you go into your gap year is that you don't feel alone needing to explain and teach others, but in the world of possibilities where you are seen, held, adored, strengthened, and taught by those who share your complexities. Sibby. There was a time that I thought that I would never be here and that it was just going to be too hard, but you know, I'm here. And so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thank you for coming. We love you all. On behalf of all seven of the school board directors and with the authority vested in me as the school board president, I accept the students before me as 2020 graduates of Nova High School. Congratulations. We are so proud of all that you have accomplished. Thank you to all the families and friends who have joined with us tonight in celebrating the NOVA graduating class of 2020. We also want to thank Britta Johnson and a special shout out to all the amazing and wonderful teachers and staff that make NOVA NOVA. Good night, stay safe, and stay strong. <laughs>